Shalom, brothers and sisters. I want to give you something that the Spirit put on my heart, and I want to share it with the Confederate House of Israel and all the believers, near and far. And that's the covenant. There is a covenant that God made that the devil is a liar and he tries to make the token of that covenant into something ignorant and negative and lascivious. But I am speaking of the rainbow, God's rainbow. And the covenant that God made and used that rainbow as a token. So we're in the book of Genesis, starting at chapter 9, the 8th verse. And God spoke unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, this is God talking. We're not going to talk about the enemy and the lie that he tries to use for God's beautiful rainbow. That rainbow belongs to the Most High. We're in chapter 9, verse, I already read verse 8. Now I'm going to go to verse 9. Chapter 9, book of Genesis, starting at the ninth verse. And behold, and I, behold, I established my covenant with you. He's talking to Noah and his sons. And with your seed after you. And with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth. This is after the flood, when Noah and his family have left that ark. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall any shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth? And God said, see, I'm going with what God said, because man took God's beautiful blow and tried to make something negative of it. But we know the truth, brothers and sisters. And God said, Yahuwah, Elohim said, not man, this is the Lord talking. This is the token of my covenant. Of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud. And I, who is I, the most high God, will, and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. Oh my God, let me stop this because my computer's doing something. One second. All right, brothers and sisters, you have to remember the reason for the rainbow. One of the things that laid on my heart is the enemy is a liar and the truth is not in him. All of his means are deceptive and destructive. The rainbow was created by God. It is beautiful. It has nothing to do with any one group of people. They may try to use it as their symbol, but let's be clear. God made that rainbow. It is representative of his covenant that he made between man and himself and all living things on the earth, even between himself and the earth. When he looks upon that rainbow, that token of his covenant, he remembers. So you have people running around here using God's rainbow, the rainbow he established his covenant with. For some means other than what God meant it for. And it is for perpetual generations. How did that rainbow come about? Because there was a flood that destroyed the earth. Why was there a flood? Because people were doing things contrary to the law of God. God took Noah into his ark because Noah was righteous. Noah followed the ways of the Most High. I find it ironic that the people who try, and I'm going to say try, to use that rainbow as a representation of their beliefs 
actually are doing the exact opposite of what that rainbow represents and why that flood came upon this earth. It was not just based on sexual immorality. It was based on evil. It was based on, most of all, dishonoring God. Dishonoring God by having more respect for the creature than they did the creator. And that's exactly why that flood came upon the earth. Um, and that's how that rainbow came into being. I want to read something. We're going into the book of Romans. Okay. Going into the book of Romans, all right? That rainbow is God's covenant. That rainbow is positive and beautiful because it can, and it's also fearful to let us know the power, the wrath, the force of God. When he rained that water down 40 days and 40 nights, and other than the eight souls with Noah, Noah, his wife, their sons, and their wives, Jephthah, Ham and Shem and their wives, Noah and his wife. Eight souls were saved because Noah was faithful and all other flesh other than the clean and the unclean animals that God told Noah to take into that ark unto himself. Everything else perished by those floods. That is how we came to that rainbow. Okay. Right now there's a story in the news. Where a young lady, she had on a rainbow shirt, she had a rainbow cape. She went to a Christian school in Kentucky. And this Christian school, when they saw these pictures of this young lady with the rainbow shirt and the rainbow cape, they kicked her out because they said it goes against their Christian values. And they thought that it automatically meant she was gay. From what I read, the young lady just thought the rainbow was beautiful. Anytime you allow the enemy to take something, God established it as a token of his covenant between his people. The pe who is his people? Those who believe, those who honor him. He also established it between man and the earth, okay? That he would never destroy the earth by a flood again. I don't care how many times the enemy tries to use that rainbow. That rainbow belongs to God. When we see the rainbow, the first person we should think about is the Most High God, the power of his destruction, because he hears something deep. There was a storm for 40 days and 40 nights. That rainbow should give all of us pause that there's another storm coming, but all of us know it won't be water the next time. It's going to be fire. And I find it kind of ironic that the people that use the rainbow don't fear God. This is what took me to the book of Romans. Okay. The book of Romans. All right. Because I'm in book of Romans, first chapter, starting at 21st verse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. When you think of this, this scarf is real. I'm ready to put my hood on. Um, when you think of what the rainbow represents, why the rainbow even came into being, it's 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 a token that his judgment would not come again. By way of water, but that does not mean his judgment won't come again. Taking back the rainbow, that rainbow represents a covenant. It is a covenant. It is not some LBTQXYZ thing. It is the most highest rainbow, and his rainbow is glorious, brothers and sisters. I'm just telling you, anytime you got a Christian church that tells a child you can't use the rainbow, did you forget who God is? I, the devil's a liar. I don't care how many times the enemy says that thing belongs to you. You didn't give it. You didn't create it. You didn't make it. You can't take it because it don't belong to you. It's the Lord's. It represents judgment. You, <laughs> you want to look at some wackadoodle mess. You, you want to look at the power of a lie. We're going to cast that thing down. The rainbow is God's. And you want to talk about a beautiful sight. You want to talk about a beautiful sight. It did not just represent. The fact that God had put a flood on this earth. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It did not just represent. It doesn't represent gay people. It represents any and everybody. It lets you know that flood that God brought. It, was, it went against all people who did not follow 
the ways that God had established. Noah was righteous. He was faithful. And that's why God saved him. And his promise, his covenant was so great and so powerful. Not just to Noah, but to every living creature, to the earth itself, that he would not destroy the earth by water again. And a token of his promise is the rainbow. And when God looks, here's where it gets deep. So you got to remember, when you see a rainbow, don't think about some LBGTQXYZ, whatever. God's looking. Listen now. Because <clears throat> I'm going to say it again. What does that covenant say about that rainbow when it shines at any time? What does it say? God said, this is a token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token. That's a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a crowd, cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant. You know, normally when you see a rainbow, when you can look for one, when it's raining and the sun is out, that's when the rainbow comes. That's when the rainbow comes. When it's raining and the sun comes out, that's when you see God's glorious, beautiful, holy, let's be clear, holy rainbow. Because that comes from my father. My father don't make any mistakes. That rainbow is gorgeous. And the devil's a liar. You can't allow something, some flesh and being take away the glory of God or the promise, the covenant that he made about that rainbow. Mm. Let me tell you what God said about the rainbow. I ain't gonna talk about man because man has lost his mind. God said, I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh and the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh and the boat shall be in the cloud and I who is I? Let, look, wait a minute. See, we got to get this thing now. We got to get this thing because the devil's a liar. This thing been laying on my heart. Been laying on my heart. I'm taking a rainbow back. I'm giving honor and glory and praise to God. To God. I love the rainbow. You want to know why my father made that beautiful rainbow? Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. And the boat shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it. Who's looking upon it when it's in the cloud? Do you know when the rainbow appears, God is, this is his word. It's in the book of Genesis chapter 9. I'm at the 15th verse. I'm going into 16. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy the earth. And the boat shall be in the cloud and I God will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. Woo! When you see a rainbow, God's remembering. God's remembering. Now we're going to go into the book of Romans and people that play too many games. Take him back. Honoring, glorifying the rainbow. The devil's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. Truth is not in him. Honey. When I see a rainbow in the sky, God's looking, he's remembering. Think about that. Think about that. When you see a rainbow, give a prayer, give a shout, give a honor, give a glory because God's looking and he's remembering. We're going to ask God, most high, remember. Remember the, the covenant that you made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob when you see thy people here in captivity and release us from our enemies this foolish nation just like you remember the covenant that you made between yourself and man never to flood the earth again when you look upon your beautiful glorious rainbow all blessed praise honor and glory under god my father made that rainbow Elohim, God made that rainbow. It ain't got nothing to do with LBGTQYXYZ or none of that mess. And the only reason the rainbow came about is because the evil lasciviousness of man. It didn't just deal with homosexuality. It dealt with evil, with murder, with lies, with people who did not honor God. How do we know? Let's go into the book of Romans. Let's go into the book of Romans. I'm going to try to wrap this up because I got to get it out. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Book of Romans, chapter 1, starting at 21st verse, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not 
asked God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish hearts were darkened. You don't think they done became vain in their imaginations to use the beautiful covenant and token of God, the rainbow, to represent something that goes against God? We know that because those other folks went against God, that's how they got that flooding water and couldn't swallow it, couldn't swim. Mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Mm. Okay. Mm. Professing themselves to be wise. Woo! They became fools. They became fools. Anytime I see somebody wearing the rainbow that is not giving honor and glory to the word of God and what God told us to do, they have became fools. They done became fool child. Mm -mm. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image like to corruptible man. Don't you see where the devil's a liar? Don't you see? Don't you see? Taking back the beauty, the glory, the honor of God's bow, his bow. It ain't got nothing to do with some group of people doing who knows what that you shouldn't be doing because there's another storm coming. Wait a minute now. Change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image like to corruptible man. Who now? Who now? And to birds and four-footed beasts and the creeping things. Wherefore God gave them up to uncleanness. Wait a minute now. Who? Wherefore God gave, also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie. Wait a minute. I, wait, who? Mm. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Let me tell you one more time, one more time. Let me tell you one more time. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? See, we going back to the truth because we children of the light. We children of revelation, my love. We children of revelations, beloved. We, we, we know better. We know what that bow means and honor it. Honor it because it's a covenant. Okay? Wait a minute now. Mm. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Do we know anybody dishonoring? Mm. Dishonoring. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Their own bodies now between themselves. I'm just line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. Mm. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. That's why I said, you take back that bow. That bow is beautiful. I'm shocked. A, a Christian church? How do you allow the enemy to make you see that beautiful rainbow as anything other than what it is? As of right now, there is a move to give honor, glory, power, and righteousness to the bow of God. Because it is a covenant, my love. It is a covenant. It's also a warning because it came because of a storm that drove away every living thing except the eight souls that made it into that ark with Noah. Mm. And those animals. Wait a minute now. Mm. And changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Forever. We know they did it. But see, I'm giving all honor. Rainbow is beautiful. No, I'm not talking about some rainbow with some lascivious. I'm talking about the rainbow of my most high father. Woo! All powerful, almighty, he is dreadful. Do you know when a rainbow appears in the sky, God remembers God looks? Oh, yes. Blessed be the most high God and his rainbow. It is holy. It is beautiful. It is a covenant. It is a token. Let's go back now. And if you want to read about it, you go into Genesis chapter 9 when he's talking to know how that rainbow got established. All right, let's keep going now. Mm. But for the mother ones, we still in Romans chapter 1. Mm. Verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Wait a minute now. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, mm, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which is meat. And even as they did not like to retain God, wait a minute now, in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind. That beautiful rainbow is the Lord's, and I'm going to glorify the rainbow. Mm, that's what the Spirit of the Lord put on me. You go tell them. That's God's rainbow. He's looking. He's remembering when it's up in the sky. The devil's a liar. Truth ain't in him. Come on now. Come on. He played games, but see the most high God. Who now? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm. 
Help me, Jesus. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind mm -hmm, to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate. Yeah, they want to debate with you. Well, we feel as though it don't matter what you feel. I'm talking about that rainbow came from the most high God. They ain't created nothing but a bunch of deception. Okay, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus help me. Jesus help me. We know they hate us. So God, how do you take something God created? Why did God create it? Because he was already mad at man because of their wickedness. No, we are not just talking about sexual perversion. This thing go deeper, stronger, lasts a whole lot longer than that. We are talking about murderers, liars, thieves, people who are doing all manner of evil. That's why God sent that flood. Oh, wait, you think 40 days and 40 nights was something? There's another storm coming, brothers and sisters. There's another storm coming. Woo! It won't be water. It's going to be fire this time. It's going to be fire. Okay? Mm. Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud. Child, you got to be proud to take something God created and try to use it for something. You know God don't play that. God don't play it. I don't give a squat tootie what nobody say. Listen now. Genesis chapter 9, you read it, that bow is gorgeous, gorgeous. My father remembers, and he looks down from, mm. so taking back the rainbow, you spread the word, that rainbow belongs to God, it is a covenant, it is a sign of the covenant, it's a sign of covenant, all right, mm. all the mother lascivious folks, whatever they doing, child, you belong to the dark one, the, the, the father of lies, we don't have time for it, okay, we don't have time, mm -mm. Here, go, here we go, Backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things. You don't think it's an evil thing to try to take that token to God? What token? The beautiful, gorgeous, glorious rainbow of God where he made a covenant between himself, man, beast, and earth. Not to put the flood waters on the earth again. Why? We had flood waters because people was doing evil and not honoring God to begin with. All right. Let me finish. Without understanding. Hey. Hey, now, Woo. you can see that by what they using, but you ain't doing nothing. That rainbow belonged to my father, your father, our father, brothers and sisters. Mm. Without understanding, covenant breakers, wait a minute now. Woo. Listen, 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 listen. Covenant breakers, covenant. Woo, 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 woo. Mm. This thing getting good. Wait a minute now. We still in first Romans. Mm -hmm. Without understanding covenant breakers. Oh, yeah, it's a covenant. It's a covenant. Why are you going to take something gorgeous, beautiful, and try to make it something other than what it was, Lord Jesus, and why you ended up with the thing in the first place? Woo! -wee. The devil's a liar, but we done caught him right there slipping and sliding. I just, mm, wait a minute. That, that rainbow, God's beautiful. I, woo! Wait a minute. Let, let me finish. Mm, without understanding covenant breakers, you got to understand a rainbow was a covenant. The rainbow represents the sign, the token of the covenant. That God, man, ain't nobody breaking no covenants around here. We going to honor God and his token and his sign because the devil's a lie. You can't take nothing from God that wasn't yours that take in the first place. You might try to use and abuse, but you ain't changed nothing. But mm, wait a minute, you've been exposed. We exposing them. Mm -hmm. Without understanding covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God. Don't you see? Don't you see? See, the rainbow came about because of the judgment that God had already put on man. Look, look, pooh, it came because of a judgment. What judgment? God had judged those men evil. They wouldn't listen to God. They wouldn't do what the Lord told them to do. That's how the rainbow came about. I'm going to have to hold this. That's how the rainbow came about in the first place. Woo! Don't you see where this thing lining up? Come on, stay with me, stay with me. Who know in the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Mm. Didn't the people doubt, drown in the flood? Mm. Come on now. Not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do. Alright, we're going to finish it up, my love. Stay with me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't leave me lonely.
I like my brothers and sisters. I love you guys. I'm trying to do my best. I hope you do your best. Make sure you ask for forgiveness. The merciful blood of the Lamb cleanses us of our sins. Believe and, and, and ask God to let us all go into his merciful kingdom. Because I don't want to stay here no more. Okay. Mm. Let's let's do this. We are in 2 Peter. Mm, mm. We are in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust. Remember the rainbow. We're going to give honor to the rainbow. No, not people that are using and abusing, trying to change it. That's God's rainbow. He looks down when the rainbow appears and remembers the covenant that he made. So we're going to look up, see that rainbow, and give all honor and glory to God. Thank you. I don't care how hard it's raining. I know you're not going to flood this earth again. Although there's another storm coming, brothers and sisters. And we got to remember the judgment of God. Because we know there's another judgment coming. Wait a minute now. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? Okay. Mm. For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, perished. Remember, this is how we ended up with that beautiful, glorious, holy, let's not get it twisted. You ever see a rainbow in the sky? You want to talk about something pretty. When the light shines through it, because listen again. When it's raining and the sun comes out, look for the rainbow. That's when you'll see it. And God's looking and remembering his covenant. We're going to give honor and glory. When I see the rainbow, praise you, Father. I know you're looking and I know you remember. And thank you. I don't care how hard it's raining. I know I'm not going to get there's no flood coming. Not, not the kind that came back in, in Noah's time. Hmm. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Oh, there's another storm coming, my love. Oh, yes, beloved. There's another one, but beloved. Mm, mm, mm. This is it. Be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Be it of the house of Israel or the strangers and the Gentiles that God is going to bring into the kingdom. Believe, confess your sins, believe in your heart, confess it with your mouth. Jesus is the son of God. He came down to this earth to save sinners. And all of us who believe, we'd be saved. Believe, my love, because I'm not staying down here when it's over. God have mercy on my soul, your soul. Believe in your heart, confess it with your mouth. Jesus is the son of God. I believe all they believe, receive the blessing of the faith. Don't fall away. Don't listen to these liars. Wait a minute now. Mm. But the day, wait a minute. But his long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come. As a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also, and the works therein shall be burned up. They shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements melt away with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. This is where we're going to finish it. Where in dwelleth righteousness? Noah was saved because he was righteous. He believed God. He honored God. He didn't follow the mother folks. He didn't follow them. There's another storm coming, brothers and sisters. And we have a token, which is God's beautiful rainbow. 
His beautiful rainbow. That's not a rainbow with X, Y, Z, L, B, G, A, B, C, whatever, bling, bling, blue. That rainbow belongs to the Most High God. It is a sign and a token that he would no longer destroy the earth by water. It is also a remembrance of his judgment. Okay, because he did destroy the earth and all that dwelled in other than Noah and his wife and his sons, eight souls. Okay, we knowing that when we see that rainbow. Let the children of the Most High God remember who created the rainbow and his promises and his covenant. The rainbow is a covenant. It is a token. It is a sign. God still remembers. Okay. So we're not going to let some liar, some debauchery, some hater of God take away the token of God because it was for perpetual generations. Perpetual. You be loved and you remember to whom you are and to whom you belong. Peace, blessings, and shalom. Walk in the truth. The rainbow is God's rainbow. The devil's a liar. He cannot have that token of God. God gave it to all the earth and those that dwell in because of a judgment that had came. And there's one more judgment coming. And we don't have to listen to the liars. We know who to whom they belong. Peace and blessings. Shalom. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters. God's rainbow is beautiful. I think this is still going, hmm, just thinking about the rainbow. I don't care who grabs God's rainbow, it's God's rainbow, and it's a beautiful rainbow, and it's a covenant, the sign of a covenant. Take that rainbow back, speak the truth, and cast down that lie. Let God raise you up. Honor God, honor his word. Blessing, peace, shalom.